Hello everyone. Welcome to Singapore Geospatial Week Plus 2020, an event organized by GeoWorks, Singapore's Land Authority Geospatial Industry Centre. We are pleased to bring to you two weeks full of geospatial webinars spanning various industry tracks and international speakers. Today, we are excited to introduce Daniel and Chris from Good Vision to share more about automating traffic data for transport planners and smart cities. If you have any questions during the webinar, please leave them in the Q&A box and we will answer them at the end of the webinar. Thank you and without further ado, I will pass the presentation now to both Chris and Christopher, to both Daniel and Christopher. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Tom. And good evening, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Daniel Stoffen, and uh, I'm one of the founders and the CEO of, of Good Vision LTD. Uh, my colleague Christopher Hargraves is joining me today, and um, he'll show you the real traffic case studies which we did with partners in Singapore. Today, we'll be speaking about the new trend in uh, traffic data analytics. We're going to explain you how transport modelers can benefit from automation and artificial intelligence in, in their daily jobs when modeling traffic and designing the traffic infrastructure towards the, toward the, the smarter cities. Let me introduce our company a bit at first. Um, Good Vision is a company from London, United Kingdom, and we work with transport planners daily. We have helped transportation specialists to achieve incredible efficiency and quality in traffic data analytics. This is, this is our 100% focus. Our mission is to make the traffic flowing, making our streets safer, and increasing the quality of life of citizens, uh, citizens' health, optimizing how the traffic is being driven through our cities. We aim to deliver better and easier working experience on, on traffic projects to, to, to modelers, planners, surveyors, and, and municipalities. Good Vision, in Good Vision, we cooperate with businesses on five continents already, uh, including the top tier traffic engineering organizations like PTV Group, Jacobs, WSP, and Rumble, and also the transport authorities and municipalities like Florida Department of Transportation and and the state of New York. Our solution is called the Good Vision Video Insights, and uh, it is a, a one-stop shop for all the analytical tasks that the transportation industry requires. And it makes your daily work more enjoyable. Um, Video Insights platform provides a, a comprehensive set of analytical tools, which save transport specialists up to 95% of, of their time by automating manual labor and replacing the conventional methods which we are used to. As a basic, we extract very accurate uh, traffic data from video and we allow to perform a wide spectrum of traffic analysis and modeling over it. The Good Vision Video Insights platform uh, provides the advanced analytics, data visualization and managerial reporting all in a single platform. And it's covering the, the whole process from the of operation from, from the traffic data collection to the decision making. Our typical use cases uh, include the traffic volume counting, drone aerial analysis, uh, traffic modeling, pedestrian and bike surveys, detection of various traffic via violations and events, and the real-time traffic control. We, as Good Vision, we enable municipalities to be transformed into a data-driven smart cities of the future. And we're doing that by leveraging the existing city camera infrastructure and cameras as videos as one of the most important assets of the cities. And now let me tease transport uh, traffic modelers a bit, and let me show you some of the end products are from, from working with our tool. Just uh, take a look at this uh, model, the traffic model of the intersection. I, I opened this, this model in the DTB VSIM software. This uh, uh, intersection has four arms. It has 16 traffic movements in total. And uh, this model is fully calibrated with the real world data with multimodal traffic volumes and uh, vehicle speed. 
to the point that it represents the exact digital twin of the real intersection. And I have created this model in five minutes. And I'm sure you're now curious about how this is possible because conventionally you would draw this model and calibrate it manually, of course. So, but, but let me first show you another example. The saturation flows. This is a key measurement of the on-street performance. It is the expression of the maximum capacity of the traffic movement on the intersection on the highways. Um, and that, that flows need to be calculated by conventionally by visually inspecting the real world situation, which in most cases is video, in order to verify your traffic simulation when modeling it in um, VSIM or other, other simulation system. And this intersection on the image has actually 20 separate traffic lanes for, and for each of them, saturation flow must be calculated at, and at least for 10 or 20 different readings for each lane. And this is a extremely time consuming task and could take you a full 24 hours to do it. And I have calculated the sat flows on this example um, under one minute. So how did I do this so fast? Well, I used the automated traffic model generation feature functionality, uh, which Good Vision provides. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it step by step. What I'll show you can actually save you extreme amounts of time and costs required on manual labor. And this model, or this, well, sorry, this method, which I'm going to show you, not only saves time, but also significantly helps to eliminate the human error when you know, copy pasting the traffic parameters values from various Excel sheets to, to your models during the calibration as you have done before. Um, in the first place, what we are trying to achieve in, is to make your work more enjoyable. To perform the advanced uh, traffic analysis in the way I teased you on my previous slides, uh, you need the traffic data. And as you might see by now, the traffic volumes in spreadsheets or on a piece of paper is just not, not the way you want it. Um, with Good Vision, you can extract and you will extract all the traffic from, from the traffic videos or cameras and where the, every physical aspect of, the, of, of every you know, tra visible traffic object is captured, the traffic attendants are classified into one of the eight uh, classes and the whole trajectories with the behavior is sa are saved into the database. This is the right format of the data which allows you to perform any data analysis over and over. And um, I'm betting that your, every, your traffic data supplier will provide you with that as a part of the delivery uh, after the traffic survey. The data which, uh, which I was showing you on the previous slide uh, is extracted within one hour time and you're all set to perform the analysis interactively. The first common step is that you will describe the traffic movements or lanes which you want to analyze and at the end include it in your traffic model. And you can add names to the traffic movements or enter it lengths or, and distances. Um, this platform allows you to define any custom origin destination traffic movement on any type of the junction, highway, or a roundabout. Um, with that, you can also capture you know, traffic events and use them as a data filters. For example, you might want to filter out just the cars that are stopping on a signal line. And this description of the scene, as you see in this example, uh, is very quick and can be done under even under one minute. Next, the next step are the traffic parameters you can, you can get, you can, you can analyze. There is plenty of traffic parameters which you are obtaining during your analysis and in good vision. There are basic traffic volume counts by each modality. You can identify the, the peak periods. You can measure the speed of every vehicle and identify the areas with reduced speed. You can analyze the time gaps between vehicles and, and the travel times in the flow. Um, you can get the waiting time in queues and identify the delays. You can also calculate the SAT flows, as I was mentioned before. And finally, you can export it all into a wide variety of traffic reports. One of the ultimate end products you can get with Good Vision, and we're finally getting to this step, is the automatically generated or created traffic model for, for PTV Vision. 
uh, as complicated as it might sound, uh, creating the traffic model is as simple as clicking a button in Good Vision. Since everything on the traffic scene is set up already, you did it before. Um, to create your model, you just simply go and click create a sim model and the creation dialogue as, as on the picture will appear. And here you can choose which traffic movements uh, will you want to include into the model, what vehicle classes uh, will be included to model, and you can select also the options if you want to calibrate your model also by the vehicle, by, by traffic speed. And then simply choose what time period for calibration will be used, if it's a peak hour or a custom time range, and the time unit, which by default is 15 minutes. And after clicking the gen to, to generate the, the, the traffic model, you will receive the INPX VSIM file in a minute, and you can open it straight away in your VSIM simulation software. I've recorded this uh, video to capture the whole process of the model creation I was talking about. The traffic model from Good Vision is already pre-calibrated, as mentioned. It is pre-calibrated by the traffic volumes and speed. The links will have the names according to your settings in Good Vision, and the network will appear on, on your VSIM map background, as you have seen on, on if you're, if you see on this example. And after opening it, you can run the simulation straight away and actually verify the model. For verification, you will need to calculate the saturation flows. You will need to do it to verify your model simulation if, if it reflects the reality on, on the intersection. And as mentioned before, in Good Vision, you can use that um, automated uh, saturation flow calculation for all the traffic movements and lanes at once simply by clicking get traffic report and selecting the sat flows as the type of the report. Every country and uh, traffic authority might have different guidelines for this and uh, Good Vision allows you customize, to customize the algorithm of the calculation in the app. During the, uh, this report creation, what, what do we do actually? Good Vision automatically identifies every single time interval with saturated free flow conditions and picks the top 10 or you know, whatever the number is needed, uh, intervals with the most passenger car units per hour and select this uh, and report it in, in, in the table, as you can see um, below. This will take about one minute and you will receive this, uh, the, the report for the whole intersection, lane by lane, movement by movement. This report is very transparent. It contains the tables as, as in the picture below but also it contains a full list of identified free flow intervals and for free flow readings that match your conditions. And now I would like to pass my word to, to, to Chris, uh, who explain you or show you of this, this functionality on the real case study we have done on Queensway in Singapore. Hello everybody. And uh, my, name's, uh, my name's Chris, as uh, Dan mentioned. And um, I'm going to walk you through um, the features that Dan has mentioned. Um, and I'm going to describe to you what we did with a local example in conjunction with our contact um, KLKK um, consultants in Singapore. Um, they uh, went out and collected the data for us. And then uh, we looked at uh, the Queensway um, Singapore Junction um, to see what type of uh, analysis and data that we can extract and do within minutes. Um, as we've mentioned, this is uh, reducing your time and also very cost effective for you. And um, this, is, um, this is what uh, the, uh, every modeler is, is trying to or looking to um, achieve. We're looking to um, get the, uh, the full simulation model uh, with all the uh, uh, kind of parameters of the classification, the transferring of uh, data from other Excel file sheets into PTP Vizim. So we want to do a pre or get a, a pre-calibration model done for you uh, automatically, um, including all this information. So all you need to do in Good Vision is generate the uh, IMPX file uh, that contains all the, um, the uh, locations and all the st statistics that you need um, to create this model that you see here. And as you can see, we've got Queensway, um, uh, which we uh, extracted the data from Good Vision and uploaded it into PTV Vision. And as Dan said, it probably took us about 
five uh, minutes uh, to kind of um, you know select what we wanted and then uh, generate the report. Um, so what we what we were looking at at uh, this uh, this intersection um, is that it's a five armed intersection. Uh, we've got uh, we were looking at three traffic movements. Um, there's nine lanes, and um, you can uh, extract. We wanted to extract the saturation flow uh, and also get some peak periods uh, from uh, this uh, this analysis. Um, so as uh, Dan has described and showed you that in the described scene in Good Vision you would just be marking up the uh, area, the described scene with your lines, and then this is calculating automatically all the um, information required uh, to give you the visual details, which I'll show you. And also um, the, uh, the AI is classifying all these objects for you and delivering the results within one hour once your footage is uh, processed, um, which is very, very quick and uh, very, very efficient. Um, so let's, let's look at how we've done this or how we generate first the IMPX file. So uh, we generate the, uh, the IMPX file um, by simply uh, selecting the movements uh, within the system um, and selecting the classes we want, the interval, whether that's 15 minutes, whether that is uh, uh, five minutes, whatever interval that you're looking at. And then once you've uh, selected this uh, simple uh, kind of click process and selection in, and adding your speeds, you generate the report uh, and that will be sent to you um, in an email format in the file IMPX. And then you simply upload that into PTV Vision um, and it uh, gives you a pre-calibrated model, which then allows you to make some minor uh, just um, uh, kind of changes to the links uh, to match up onto your uh, PTVs and model and also add the lanes. So you have to do some minor kind of extra uh, kind of adding or um, uh, manipulation to your PTVs and model and all the results are fed in uh, to the system and uh, create your, uh, your base model. Um, and as uh, we, we were stating that um, this is going to save you 99% of your time with pre-calibration steps. So it's removing um, all these kind of manual uh, pre-calibrations that you have to do um, and actually get uh, modelers uh, modeling and using uh, your uh, PTV vision uh, model more efficiently and effectively. Also, uh, we're removing complicated calculations um, on you know, Excel files, templates, uh, removing the human error. Uh, from the um, from this, so it gives consistent results by using Good Vision. You have the data there. You uh, generate and click, and you have your uh, results all ready for you, um, which is going to save you uh, a lot of time and also is very cost effective. So uh, now let's uh, look at the generation. So we've generated the RMPX file. It's uh, uploaded into PTV Vision. Um, and uh, also the, you'll have your um, flows uh, from the uh, PTV Vision system. But um, you also can generate as um, uh, checkpoints or uh, pre-calibration checking uh, from Good Vision. And uh, you can generate the saturation flow. And it's possible for each lane automatically uh, calculated based on real-time data from the Good Vision platform. Um, so you can uh, look at the calculations generated from PTV Vision and also from Good Vision, and you can make sure that that calibration is exactly what you need for your model. And obviously, it's basically a quality mm -hmm. check exercise that you're doing now instead of looking at calculating and watching hours of video to create these um, saturation flows. It's a simple, quick check to see if the numbers are matching. Um, and then uh, this is uh, the, the next uh, kind of how I did the saturation flow. So we have uh, one of the scenes from the uh, Queensway. Um, and all I've done is, is I've uh, highlighted the uh, lane or the flow of traffic that I want to, to look at. I've placed my uh, green line. So you can see over there where there's a red arrow. I've placed the green line and that is actually placing the, um, uh, the position of the flow that I'm going to measure. Once I've put that line across the lane that I'm looking to measure, 
All I do is uh, generate the uh, saturation report, which you've seen at the beginning, and that will send me an Excel file uh, to my, um, uh, my email address or to uh, a client or even to a fellow coworker. It produces uh, this um, report. And these are the stats that I got from uh, Queensway, Singapore, um, with the free, lane, uh, free throw reading for each, um, uh, each lane or so each flow um, or vehicle. And you've got your average, your min, your max times, you've got the uh, classifications per vehicle. Um, and as you can see here, I've highlighted some of the uh, information that I've uh, able to calculate. And that was in uh, a minute or so um, from clicking the selection and getting the report to my inbox. Uh, so that pre-calibration is, is done for you. Also, uh, as I mentioned, it, it gives you a visualization of data. And that's very important here, as you can see, with uh, another area of checking the data that, you're, uh, that you have in PTV Vism. But you also have your object distribution graph. So you can look at the object distribution of vehicles. And also, as I mentioned, peak periods. So the system automatically uh, hi highlights the peak period within your footage uh, to give you a breakdown here in the uh, bottom left. It's showing you that uh, the peak volume and then also uh, the period. So it's from 7.30 to 8.30 and it gives you a breakdown of this classification. So also that should um, uh, kind of flow through into your PTV uh, Vision model. model. Also here we have a vehicle list report, which is at the bottom right. And that is actually showing you, again, a granular view of the vehicle, the gap time, the entry and exit, and the travel time and speeds also. So it's given your average speed uh, per that uh, classification. And it's all visual um, aids helping you making sure that you deliver um, real time traffic data um, within hours uh, from the upload and generation and then creation of the um, uh, data into your PTV Vision model in minutes. Um, and this will definitely uh, save you uh, valuable time and it's very cost effective um, to uh, help you with your uh, models and projects uh, within the, um, the, that you're looking at. So thank you very much for your attention. I'll pass it back over to, to Dan. If there's uh, any questions, let us know. Yeah, thank you for your attention and we're ready for questions. Hi, so I think we have uh, a couple of questions. So the first question is, how long will it take for the AI to recognize new types of vehicles? And how much traffic footage is needed for the AI to learn this? So, that, well, that's a two, two complicated questions, but actually it's very simple to, to answer them. The first thing is that there is no customization needed in order to, to learn the AI uh, for, uh, for your, let's say, geolocation, if you want to uh, perform the survey. The other, uh, the, the other part of the question was, um, in order to learn new types of classes uh, outside of the standard set, which we already support, uh, Good Vision support that uh, as, as, a, as a custom you know, uh, extension. We, we do that often and regularly. Um, it, it's hard to say um, how, how much footage or how many uh, samples, but uh, you know, if you're familiar with the artificial intelligence, there's a, that's a quite a lot of you know, and a variety of uh, imagery needed uh, to, to do that. Uh, and uh, the time period can, can range some, somewhere between one month to two months to deliver the, the, the model that can classify new types of vehicles, if, uh, if this is possible, technically. Okay, and the second question is, how is the performance or detection rate influenced during night or any other disturbing light, for example, sunset, fog or heavy rain? Yeah, this is, this is a, the, these were the common problems of, um, let's say, traditional uh, computer vision techniques, because this area, of course, is very uh, attractive since, since the emergence of the IP cameras. And uh, these were the most common problems that our, our clients um, were, were tackling before. So night, shadows, um, obstacles, uh, objects covering each other, fog, and heavy rain, of course. The level of artificial intelligence, which uh, is uh, running under the lid of, of Good Vision platform, is, um, is based on the, the, the detection or inference, which is you know, uh, classifying or recognizing vehicles by their appearance. And uh, we have, we have, we're training, we have trained and are still training our system, of course, continuously 
on the large set of, of large data set which we are collecting from all around the world. And it, it contains, of course, uh, you know, imagery from, from almost every, you know, uh, how to say country uh, globally, from every type of, of weather conditions, during the night, during the day. So basically it works generally in a way that if the naked eye of the human can spot and recognize the object, then our system can do it as well. Yeah, so in the night vision or in the night, we can't pitch black, but if there is backlighting uh, and you have silhouettes of objects, the yeah. system is trying to identify uh, vehicles, um, their shapes and so on. It does reduce the accuracy because again, if you can't see it with the naked eye or you can't detect it yourself, and the system, it doesn't enhance, it's really looking at the physical shape of the, uh, the vehicles. So in certain conditions, and if people have got uh, some certain scenarios, we always review them and we let clients know if this is possible or it isn't possible to provide this service for them. Yeah. Uh, the next question is, can we monitor pedestrian movements? What about cyclists, PMDs, for example, scooters? Can they be differentiated? Uh, yes, we can uh, monitor pedestrians and then bicycles. These are the, the, the standard classes which you are getting with any traffic survey which you are performing through Good Vision. The scooters, the motor scooters, are the part of our motorcycle uh, category. Uh, so there is like no differenti differentiation yet. But of course, uh, we we are we, we see the, the the new movement or a new trend also to that there is a strong need to to separate the e-scooters, for example. So this is uh, the like a development which is like ongoing in in, in good vision, and uh, in the future we want to provide also these new, uh, I would say modern classes, but which need to be uh, considered for the new model schemes as well, as the bicycles are today. Thank you. And another question is, is the video analytics able to motion capture traffic movement and process trajectory for a great separated junction or flyover or even elevated highways? Uh, I don't know if I understood correctly. Could you please repeat the second part of the question? Um, whether the video analytics is able to motion capture traffic movement or process trajectory for great separated junctions or flyovers or even okay. elevated highways. Okay, so the, the actual uh, video analytics is done on, on the micro level. So it's intersection by intersection. The connection between the intersection is, is done with other methods. Uh, Good Vision also pr provides uh, some, some methods to, to, to make these, let's say, meso models or macro models. Uh, one of the of one of these methods is, for example, the automatic number plate recognition, which can you know very precisely connect the flows from one intersection to to another. Um, so, but like the the degree identification, just automatically, just by visual appearance, uh, is not something which is you know supported uh, today. This is a very you know complicated problem, and has to be uh, the re-identification has to be done with some like. Um, attributes like, for example, the license plate or with some manual approach. But we can detect um, if you have a flyover or, or uh, elevated highway, yeah. um, depending on where you place the, uh, the lines or the, uh, the zones within the described scene, um, you can identify the in and outflow of that vehicle um, and the numbers to understand the volume that is going through under you know, an elevated highway. Um, the trajectory is obviously broken because we don't see through things. Um, so if you have a flyover and you have a vehicle entering, and if there's an opening, we can see the vehicles going under the uh, vehicle, but not through. Um, and again, you can measure easily the exit points of the uh, categories or objects leaving the, uh, the flyover. So we have done cases like this with islands, with flyovers and highways where we can detect uh, the volume of uh, cars going on and off uh, any part. Okay, and perhaps we have time for just one more question. So the next question is, what types of cameras are required to apply the detection? Can existing installations be reused? Yeah. This is, this is one of our main uh, first drivers uh, when, when we created uh, su such, a, such a platform. We wanted uh, to leverage or utilize the existing infrastructure. So Good Vision is um, the camera manufacturer agnostic. 
you can use your existing cameras you can use your you know fixed cameras in the city or uh, temporary cameras which uh, the surveyors are, are used to use for for the traffic surveys there are certain of course qualitative uh, uh, recommendations and requirements but uh, today you know in the 21st century uh, there is a plenty of you know a big offer of, of, of cameras which are providing uh, uh, decent image quality and the video quality that that can be you know is eligible for for good visions processing so uh, basically it is bring your own camera yeah you can use your own cameras and existing ones yeah. even the older ones but it's also on that we do have parameters around um, the, the cameras so we say from 720p um, going upwards and 30 frames per second or minimum 10 frames per second um, obviously, if it's not very good quality when you view it, um, you, the, the results can be yeah. uh, different. So the better the quality of the camera, but the, the best thing, as Dan's mentioned, it is open to any brands. Um, it's just the parameters. So you can use, as you said, existing CCTV cameras, anything like that that is on a network you can utilize and you haven't got that investment for hardware uh, into your projects. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daniel and Chris, for answering all the questions. So I think there are a few more questions that uh, we uh, have yet to answer. So perhaps, uh, Daniel, you could leave your email address in the chat box. And if the attendees have any other things, they can reach out to you directly. So yes. before we go, I'd like to thank everyone for attending uh, the webinar today and for all the engaging, engaging questions. So before you go, please check out our other webinars that we have lined up for you uh, by scanning the QR code and joining the conversation by using the hashtag SGGeoWick. So thank you, stay safe and we hope to see everyone soon.